So everybody's always asking me, what am I using in terms of computers, monitors, and all of that fun stuff? I'm going to show you guys a in-depth look behind the scenes. We're going to go behind the scenes, what you normally don't see. Normally, you just see my face and you see charts. You see day trading charts, but we're going to talk about kind of my overall computer day trading, editing, office, computer system that I got going on here behind me. You can kind of see it right now, but I'm gonna give you guys an in-depth look here at what I'm using every day to make YouTube videos, to day trade, and all that fun stuff here in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. All right, so first off, I wanna make it very clear that you do not need a crazy, crazy computer to be able to day trade. You don't really even need a bunch of monitors, but it helps to have a setup that works best for you. At the end of the day, you're looking for a setup that works best for you. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can take a look at my very over the top, insane day trading computer slash editing slash office. In the background, you can see I have a 42 inch monitor that has all my charts pulled up on it. And then over there, I have another 42 inch monitor. These are the 4K LG 42 inch monitors. I think they're about $790 or 750 bucks. Really amazing monitors. They're massive, they're huge, they're 4K. The sharpness is insane. They're beautiful, really they're beautiful and they're huge. You have a lot of space to put different charts. I'm running my editing software or my editing computer off of an iMac Pro. This is the latest, the greatest iMac Pro. That's not really that great because it's really slow a lot of times and I don't know if my brain is just smarter than my computer or if my computer is just really kind of bogged down because I'm doing too much too quickly. These are all questions that need to be answered. So in terms of my day trading computer, I've got a PC that's back there. You can't see it because it's in the back, but I've got a PC that's basically, you know, all the latest and greatest in terms of i7 processor, RAM, hard drives, all that stuff, video graphics cards. And I'm running a 42 inch monitor off of that computer with two 27 inch curved monitors over there as well. And I'm also using the Rode mic over, it's hard to do this. I'm using a Rode mic that's built for streaming. And also there's a little camera back there with a little light that I normally use when I'm streaming and making videos and all of that fun stuff. Now, I'm also using two, obviously I have two keyboards. I've got the normal Apple keyboard, and then I've got a gaming keyboard over there, so I can put my hotkeys set up on there and all that, put different hotkeys, program it, and really make it amazing. And then in terms of mouses, I gotta have a good mouse, because I need to have something that's quick, I can get around. I like a mouse that has a little bit of weight as well. So I've got two mouses, obviously, for two different computers, but they're both the same mouse. Hey, look at that. You know, two mouses, two computers, but the same mouse. Some clips of 556 ammo. Not really sure why those are on my desk. I guess it's just something cool to look at sometimes. I've also got this little thing that's kind of like, I feel like this is the market. Like I make this piece right here, the market, and the market's like always kind of like, hey, screw you. You know, like the market's gonna get you. The market's always watching. So when I have a red day, I put the little middle finger up and I have a green day, I put the little thumb up. Mostly I just leave it up with the middle finger because it's like a reminder that the market's always there to take your money and that's kind of good to have that reminder sometimes. And then in terms of my chair, I've got like a G, what is this? A GT racing chair there, nothing crazy, kind of like just a gaming, you know, computer chair that I bought off Amazon. My camera that I'm filming with right now is a GH5 Panasonic camera with a little road video mic. And I got a couple of drones that are hanging out back there as well. And then also my newest purchase for anybody out there who's a fan of Game of Thrones. Well, I don't know. I thought it was a cool little piece to put on the desk, you know, a little Jon Snow there, a little bit of Jon Snow. And also what else I got? I got the GoPro 7 that I'm using for a lot of videos as well. I got another 32 inch monitor. I'm not sure where I'm going to mount that at or where I'm going to run it for. I don't know if you can see it, but back there, I've got these clocks, basically you know, time is money. And I've got a lot of time over there, baby. A lot of time on the wall. Also, big shout out to Wall Street Studios, I think is his name on Instagram. I'll put a little link down below. Sent me this piece, Brad Pitt, Fight Club. Great movie, great actor, great art piece. Overall, a really cool piece for the office. And then over there, you can see I've got two green screens. Got the two green screens set up over there. 
And I put those on the back of my chair if I need a green screen. That's how I put the charts behind me. And in terms of what I'm using for streaming, I'm using OBS. And what else? I've got the Trade Idea Scanner over there. I've got a lot of different charts pulled up. I've got multiple charts all over the place, charts everywhere. That way I can watch different charts that open, see what stocks are moving. Really nothing too crazy, a basic desk, wires, mouses, monitors, computers. Basically everything you would use for day trading for computers, I have all of that behind me. But the big thing for me is having a lot of real estate in terms of actual monitor sizing and real desktop space. Desktop space, I guess is a better way to say it. So. Nothing too crazy. It's not like I have an insane computer. I mean, an iMac Pro is kind of an insane computer, kind of an annoying computer because $6,000 and it doesn't really work that well. I've actually been pretty lucky with my PC. I haven't had any problems with it. I've been using it for a while now. It just works. I don't use it for anything other than running trading software. So it keeps it clean and keep all the viruses off it. I don't do anything, anything questionable on that computer. On the Mac, on the other hand, eh, you know, every once in a while. But Really for me, the big thing is, like I said earlier, having a setup that works best for me. Having something that's simple, something that's easy. I need real estate so I can see all the different charts, what stocks are moving, see the scanners, and see all that information. That way I can kind of figure out what stock I want to trade and all that. But I want to make it very clear for you guys, again, you don't need to have you know huge monitors. You don't need to have 20 monitors. You really just need to figure out what works best for you in terms of your overall style. Don't go out and buy $10,000 worth of trading equipment, you know, monitors, computers, and all this when you first start. Start with a small computer. Start with one monitor. Watch one stock. Start simple. Keep it simple. Keep it easy. In terms of lighting, I got this little ring light that I'm using for lighting over there for making these videos. Everything's in 4K, keeping it crisp, keeping it fresh. I was thinking that this video would be a little bit more interesting and a little longer, but you guys wanted to see it. People keep asking to make a video talking about what my computer is, what my setup is, and here it is, my day trading setup. So I will talk to you guys later on. If you haven't already, you know what to do. You gotta go, you gotta go, but hit that like button right now, hit that subscribe button, I'll talk to you guys later on.